All right, so I'm gonna go through the EQ Star um, install. You can take apart the mount. I've got pictures where I did it that way, but I'm also you can also do it with the mount kind of standing up. It's a little more difficult, but you can use the RA and deck clutches and release them and move stuff around so you can work on it. Uh, I've basically taken everything off the mount, uh, including the old controller, uh, disconnected the cable. So, uh, so the only thing that's in here is the cable, so I'm just gonna remove those real quick. So those are out. And then uh, let's go ahead and start the install. So I'm gonna try my best here to do this, uh, like I said, standing up. Uh, the other thing you need is a number four. The number four is for the, uh, the screw up here on the top. So uh, we'll get to that when we get to that. All right, here we go. So, first thing we want to do is there's a screw down here that we want to release. Phillips, and then release the clutch. And then there's a screw right here. And you can't see it, uh, but there's a screw on the other side too. So I'm gonna get that one real quick. And drop a washer on that. Once that's released, you want to lift up on it lightly. And there's a connector in here that you have to just disconnect. So you just got to wiggle it and it'll come out. Next thing we want to do is take off the motor. The motor's got two screws here, so um, you can use the included um, Allen wrench. Find here. So uh, it comes with a couple Allen wrenches and stuff, so I'm just going to use one of the Allen wrenches in there to take it off. And we'll reuse these screws with the new motor. It comes with screws, but I just I use these ones, it's not a big deal. Let's put them in the center. This one. And sorry for any noise in the background, I got my fan running, it's a little warm. The next thing we want to do is take off the, the gear. So there's two Allens for that. You can roll down. And again, the included tools that came with it. You should be able to pop those off just fine. Um, we have a rag. Rag real quick. It's probably worth taking off the grease so you don't get it all over your hands. So. And then there's two screws down in the bottom. You don't have to take the screws all the way out. It should just slide off. So hopefully you can see that two screws we took out. So at this point, I like to wipe off any grease on it. All right. Next, I'm going to install the gears that came with it. So. document I wrote on this whole procedure. I believe it's the small gear that goes down here. If I remember right. And you don't want to tighten it too much, just enough to get it on. Oh, sorry. Hold on.
you should be able to get it to screw, and then if you move it, you'll see that it did not move. Next thing you want to do is put on the motor. And if you want to be accurate, what is this type of motor? So, this is the motor we want to put on. It's got the, the little slits in it here, which will go right back to it. And again, I don't get this super tight because I need to put on the belt too. So, so we get them semi hand tight. The other one on there now. And again, I'm not going super tight because I want to get the belt on too. So I just uh, put these on. Next thing I want to do is get the belt. It's the little belt that we're putting on. So I usually slip it onto the big gear, uh, the big gear and then uh, not too much. Sorry, put it on the little tiny gear, and then you can slowly rotate it on. Rotate on like so. Hopefully, you got that in the shot. And then uh, that's really loose. So at this point, you can adjust it. So here, um, you probably can't see it down here, but let me try to crank this up. So here, you want to crank over the motor so that the belt is tight. It doesn't need to be super tight because if it's too tight, it's going to bind and it can rip the motor belt. Um, so you don't want to do that. So you just want it t tight enough that, you know, when you push it, it's, it's got a little bit of play, but not much. And I, don't, I don't know, hopefully you can see that. Maybe I'll crank it over a little more, try that. So just a little bit of play. So I'm going to go ahead and crank that up. It's got a little bit of play. You know, I like to get those semi tight, so. It's not going to move anywhere, cause any kind of binds with the, uh, with the belt. So there you go, it's got a little bit of play on it. I don't know if you can see that, hopefully. All right, 